A very warm welcome to your own channel Astrologer. In this video we are going to know about remedies of malefic Mars. Mars is a very powerful planet which represents power, passion, creativity, anger, war, energy, desires, adventurous nature, aggression, etc. Mars is also related to brother and sisters, job in army, security work, surgery, accidents, violence, etc. Now let's know some special things related to Mars according to Vedic Astrology. Among the metals, copper is related to Mars. The gem stone related to Mars is coral. According to numerology, the number related to Mars is 9. The direction of Mars is south and the day is Tuesday. Mars is the lord of Aries and Scorpio sign. In the birth chart, Mars sitting with Capricorn is exalted and if it is sitting with Cancer sign, then it is debilitated. If Mars sits with Rahu in any house, then Angarak Yoga is formed which is a dangerous yoga. Now let's know about Mangalik Dosha. Mangalik Dosha is seen by studying the presence of Mars in different houses. Generally, if Mars is in the first house, fourth house, seventh house, eighth house or twelfth house, then the horoscope is considered to be Mangalik and such a person is asked to marry a Mangalik person to avoid the troubles in married life. Marriage is delayed due to Mangal Dosha or Mangalik Yoga. There is conflict between the partner sometimes. Chronic health problems also occur due to Mangalik Dosha. Hence, Mangal Shanti Puja is very helpful in reducing the inauspicious effects of Mars. Some people also know Mangalik Dosha as Kuj Dosha or Bhom Dosha. Now let's know what problems are seen due to inauspicious and weak Mars. Relations with siblings may deteriorate. The person become aggressive and sometimes engage in illegal activities due to inauspicious Mars. Delay and dissatisfaction in marriage is also seen in those people whose Mars is inauspicious in horoscope. Some are not even able to have a close relationship with the life partner. Lack of passion and ambition is also seen in person with weak Mars. A person's life becomes inactive due to weak Mars. Due to the inauspicious effects of Mars, the problem of debt arises as well as the person has trouble in land related work. Now let's know when should we do Mangal Shanti Puja. If Mahadasha or Antardasha of inauspicious Mars is running, in that case Mangal Shanti Puja is very very beneficial. If Mars becomes inauspicious in the transiting horoscope or if become debilitated then in such a situation, those people who have Mars in an inauspicious state in their horoscope face problems in life. In that case also Mangal Shanti Puja is beneficial. If the person is suffering from any serious disease due to inauspicious Mars, then also Mangal Shanti Puja is beneficial. It is also very very useful when a person face problems of debt or land related problem or blood related problem. If the tension in married life has increased a lot, the soreness in love relations is increasing, then also it is good to consult or astrologer and if needed perform Mangal Shanti Puja. 
Now let's know what can be the benefits of Mangal Shanti Puja according to Vedic astrology. It helps in protecting the person from diseases, prevents the native from taking wrong decisions, provides land related benefits to the person, removes problems from love life and marriage life, prevents any serious accident. Now let us know how we can perform Mangal Shanti. There are many ways to perform Mangal Shanti Puja. Chanting the mantras of Mars and donating the related items on Tuesday will be very beneficial. By hiring an experienced pundit or astrologer, one can perform Mangal Shanti Puja properly. Even if the shivling is regularly anointed with sweet water, there, there is a lot of benefit. If the depth has become too much, then reciting the Rid Mochan Mangal Srotra is very very beneficial. By setting up a Siddh Yantra of Mars, seeing it daily, worshipping it daily is also a very good way to nullify the malefic impacts of Mars. Fasting on Tuesday is also a very good way to minimize the malefic impacts of Mars from our life. If Mars is auspicious but weak in horoscope, in that case wearing a coral gemstone is very good. So there are various ways by which we can minimize the impact of malefic Mars from our life. Now let's know some special time when Mangal Shanti Puja is good to start. If there is combination of Sarvar Siddhi Yoga with Tuesday, then it is an auspicious day to start Mangal Shanti Puja. If Mrakshira Nakshatra, Chitra Nakshatra or Dhanishtha Nakshatra falls on Tuesday, then it is an auspicious time to perform Mangal Shanti Puja. If Shivratri falls on Tuesday, then also it is a very good time to perform Mangal Shanti Puja. If Amavasya falls on Tuesday, then also it is a good day for Grah Shanti Puja. So in this way, we can make our life successful by performing rituals related to malefic planet. Hopefully in this video you have come to know about the power of Mars planet in our life, how we can perform Mangal Shanti Puja, what are the best days to start Mangal Shanti Puja. If you want to read the detail of this video then do check the description box. If you are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video so as to get the latest updates as soon as it is published. Let's meet in another video. Till then, Om Namah Shivaya.